Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the copy command in Rhino. And it's a very simple command. Um, unlike the move command, it, uh, it keeps the object in place and obviously creates another one. And the move command um, deletes the old point. So I will show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to use the polyline command. And um, if I were to use the move command here, you'll see that the old line or the old object will disappear. But for the copy command, um, if I typed in copy, it asks select which objects to copy. I will select the object, press enter when done. And um, just like the move command, you can select whichever point you want or off the point to move. And it will create a copy. So if I hit exit, we now have two copies. Just like the um, move command, we can also move it a specific distance. So if I wanted this to be 150 inches, it moves it in place. Uh, but the one thing to note is if you were um, to use these commands, these are just to move it in place. Um, if you want to make a copy, you will need to type in the command. And it does not have to be locked into place. You can turn ortho mode on and make as many copies as you want. 